So here we are, we're going to talk about section D, Venn diagrams, and we're going to do example five, six, seven, lots of them. So a Venn diagram, a definition, I'll give you the definition out of the book, consists of a universal set U represented by a rectangle and subsets within that that are generally represented by circles. So in this case, Venn diagram has to have, we're going to draw it. This is the example. It says we've got the set S, the universal set, are all integers less than or equal to 10. First step, my rectangle. Have to have my rectangle oh. because it's my universal set. Now, within that, we have a subset. We have a set. S. And all the members of S go in that circle. Two, four, six, seven. And everything that's not in that set goes outside. I got one, three, five. One, three, five, eight, nine, ten. So as long, it can go anywhere inside the rectangle as long as it's not in the circle. So what does that tell us? S is this. These are all my complements. So my complement to S is going to be 1, 3, 5, 8, 9, 10. And my squiggly bracket. Now, then it asks us a few other questions, which are basically pretty straightforward. So we got to find the number of elements in set S. One, two, three, four. So when I have this, this means the number of elements in the set S. Number of elements in the complement of S. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, number of elements in the universal set. What do we got? 4 plus 6 is 10. So, that's example 5. Pretty basic. We, they get a little bit more interesting as we start working through them. Now, like this next one. We're going to go with drawing the universal set of real numbers, which most people dislike this, but we'll work through it. I'm going to erase this first. So, so the universal set, instead of writing U, is all real numbers. And within that universal set, we have integers. And then within that, we get natural numbers. And then within that, we have positive integers. So, the reason why is because out here, we can have decimals, like pi, square root 2. Those are irrational, so they go outside. Oh, so I guess I need another circle. That includes rational numbers, like that which is cute because it's going to have decimals 1.22 repeat 1 1.5 3 over 2 rational numbers and inside that is integers 1 negative 1 2 plus or minus plus or minus 17 those are all integers so they go in there natural numbers the only thing that's in natural numbers
Uh, well, what are we gonna do? Natural numbers, one, zero. Is that what they're showing us for examples? They're saying. So, natural numbers have zero. And then these are only positives. So they didn't add the positive one. Now, the example, they want you to put different things in different places. So the square root of three, we'll go out here, because it's irrational. It's not in Q. And then Z, N. And what are the other examples that they're looking for? We got eight and a half. Well, that would go out here, 8, 1 half. Negative 2, it's an integer, so it's already here. 7.1, it's rational, because it's a terminating decimal. 16, 16 is going to go all the way into the center, because it's a positive integer. And then I have... 0 0.115 terminating decimal so it goes in the rational part but it's not an integer okay that's it for talking about example six next up we've got example seven where we are dealing with a venn diagram with two circles Gonna get this erased so I can draw this up. And as we add more stuff, it gets more complicated. So, first thing I'll do is I'll write down what my sets are. I have a universal set, which is X x less than or equal to 12. No, nope. 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 12. Where x is an integer. So they're just writing it a bit differently. They want to include 0. a, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. And then I get B. 1, 3, 6, 7, 8. 1, 3, 6, 7, 8. And it wants us to draw a Venn diagram. Okay, so the first thing is we got to make the universal set. We get two circles. Now here's the interesting part. Before I start drawing, I look to see if there's any overlap. Three is in both. Seven is in both. Okay, so that means I do this wonderful little overlap. So I get my universal set. I get set A, set B. I always start at the center and work my way out. So I've got Three, three, seven, seven. So they both go in here. Okay? And then everything that I didn't underline in A goes in the A circle. So I've got two, five, and eleven. Here, same, one, six, eight. But because I have the universal set, I also have to write the numbers that aren't in either A or B. So I've got 0, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. So that's a basic Venn diagram with... Two, set, two sets inside the universal set. And I think we covered all those. If so, 
That'll be it for 2D. And yeah, have fun. We'll see you soon. Talk about E.